Hey guys, it's so guys, welcome to another video of Maxi Aspie, and today I'll be talking about all Christmas. All Christmas, apparently. So today I'll be talking about autism and Christmas. So being autistic and the lead up to Christmas for me is always a little bit stressful. I think I put a lot of stress on myself because when it comes to presents and organising things and trying to get people things and make people happy, it's always a little bit stressful for me. Every time I do it, every year, people will always say, don't worry, um, don't worry about what you get me, etc, etc. But it's, it never sort of alleviates that stress for me because I always want to make sure that I get someone that, that a nice thing and that they're happy with it and I don't want to be a letdown, I don't want to disappoint people for Christmas. And I think a lot of people will feel this, whether they are autistic or not. But when you're autistic, you do tend to, for, well for me anyway, I do tend to over worry and that anxiety will build up and build up and then I end up then leaving it for, you know, very near the line and then I'm even more stressed and even more worried. And the reason I'm making this video though is because I do want to spread awareness for things like birthdays, but Christmases and, and all these events that lead up because for an autistic person they can be quite stressful but Christmas I'd say is a massive one because it's always change of routine, it's change of structure, it's change of what you're eating, it's change of what you're doing in that time of day, it's very more, more noisier, it's more lights, it's more, everything is a bit more amped up to 10. And for me, luckily, sensory lights and everything else don't affect me as much as what it may affect another autistic person. But it's these things that we really have to be mindful of and appreciate and understand. And I'm not saying everyone should switch their lights off, cancel Christmas, because that is not what this video is saying. But it's just pointing out that these these little things that change every year, you know, whether it's a routine changing or different songs playing on the radio or the lights coming out or, or all this stuff or planning things further ahead or doing things um, on the spontaneous can have quite a lot of a effect on an autistic person. And obviously when Christmas and holidays and birthdays come up, we, we really, we, I think we forget it anyway because autism is invisible and we don't see it. But especially with the holidays and everything else, we can get so caught up in doing this and doing that that we forget to actually remember, oh yeah, this, this person is autistic and they might not like this, they might not appreciate this. Um, and it's always bearing these things in mind. Some tips I would give to autistic people like, like myself is, you know, I always prepare myself for those changes and every year I, I, I think I end up dealing with it a little bit differently. If I get closer to the line of ordering things or or I just forget about it for the month or or whatever, you know, I, I, I always tend to deal with it differently. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know, I suppose that's me adapting to change around me. But I think preparation is key, knowing that that is going to be happening, knowing that it's going to be coming up very soon is always very helpful for me to prepare for that situation too and I know people say it to me all the time do not worry you know do not get anxious do not get worried about these situations that are coming up you know they come up every year and I know every year it might get a bit more worrying or a bit more anxious but at the end of the day you'll, you'll do it and then that 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 worry that anxiety will be gone um, and then it's that for another year so I always tend to think on the lead up to preparation for that, I know that I worry but I know that at the end of the day it will be okay and always bear that in mind, always have that thought process. I'd also encourage people to talk about it, if you know someone that is autistic, if you are autistic yourself, talk about it, talk about Christmas Day, talk about what you want to do, what you're going to do, sort of plan it out because planning it can make it a little bit more easier for that autistic person you can still have a good time you can still have all the good things that you want to do but sometimes knowing what is going to happen can always really be a big a big big benefit and the last thing i'd say is obviously enjoy it it is christmas it is that, that wonderful magical time of the year and i know some people find it hard to celebrate christmas because of what's going on and also some people sometimes associate bad things when it comes to christmas you know if they've had bad experiences happen at that time that's always to be mindful of and appreciative of and understand that that might be going on for that person but overall enjoy it you know it is Christmas it is 
is a magical time of the year. It's a time where we shouldn't be worrying, that we shouldn't be stressing. I know that's easier said than done, as, as I've explained today. But I'd always say, enjoy it. Really enjoy it. Try to enjoy it to the best that you can. But I want to make this video just to spread that awareness because for everyone else, it's just another Christmas, it's another holiday, it's another, you know, it's another time in their life where they go out, they go shopping, they do those things. You know, for me, I, I don't like the idea of going out and shopping. I prefer to order things online to avoid those busier environments. And it's just things like this that, that neurotypical people might not understand, might not appreciate, you know, may not consider. So it's always good to make videos like this, just to emphasize and re-spread re that, that message of autism and that understanding. I hope you all do have a good Christmas guys, I know that I'll be back with some more videos soon, and obviously thanks for watching, take care and goodbye for now.